Hey, this is Marcus with MLC CAD Systems, and today I want to start working on this gearbox. I've used the SolidWorks toolbox to go ahead and bring in and create all these various different gears. Uh, in fact, some of them I even used kind of a multi-body approach to create multiple gears in one. So I've got kind of the part, and then I brought in another gear to create kind of the stage. But these all still have the toolbox flag on them. And one of the things that can happen is if you're not careful with your settings, you can go ahead and have a problem where transferring it to another machine or an upgrade or something like that can create problems. So if you just want to avoid those problems altogether, I recommend this data utility. It's under SolidWorks Corp, SolidWorks Toolbox Data Utilities. It's called SLD Set Doc Prop. And it's a pretty straightforward little utility. Basically, what you want to do is go find the files that you want to uh, change the toolbox flag for. So I've already done a save as on these files. So in the set document property utility, I'll just go find those files, add them to my list. And this can actually do uh, two things. So it can show you what the status of that flag is, as well as then modify it. So here I've got all my files. Uh, if you select one, you can go ahead and see Right there it says standard, that means that it is uh, active as a toolbox part. And so what I want to do is I want to turn the flag off so these are basically completely dumb parts that have no relation back to that toolbox. So I'll select them, hit property state no, and update status. Now if you check you'll see toolbox equals no. Now here's the thing, just because those files are no longer being considered as toolbox parts, the flag is off, I'm still potentially going to have a problem the first time I open it. Because now I've got a file references issue. The first time I had this open, it was opening it directly from the toolbox part itself, and the assembly remembers as, as having that toolbox flag. So the assembly remembered uh, what was going on, and even though I changed those files, the assembly did not. So here's what you've got to do. I'm going to close this out and not save anything, which is the best thing you can do if you start to see problems related to the toolbox. I'm going to go into my system options under Whole Wizard Toolbox and turn off the option to make this folder the default search location for toolbox components. Now for the first time opening it after I've taken that toolbox flag out, I need to make sure that option is set so that it brings in the files that I expected and you save the assembly with that toolbox flag off. Now you can turn that back on, it doesn't matter. You can let it do that over again uh, and use that as an automatic search routine to find any toolbox parts. So just remember between the toolbox flag internal to the file and the assembly remembering the toolbox has a flag, uh, you'll need to make sure both of those are cleared and then that toolbox part should never have an issue after that. Mm -hmm. 